Today I will be developing my very first mod with Unity's LEGO Micro Game, walking through the process of building, designing, publishing, and sharing my own game with the community. And if you follow these steps, you can do the same. My name's Nikki. this channel is iHeartGameDev, my channel all about game development. One last shout out to Unity for sponsoring this video and series, and now, let's get started. While I was working on the previous videos in this series, I knew that the final episode would be about making and sharing a mod. So this entire time, I've been trying to think of some different game ideas than what I've already seen and what is provided by default when the micro game is downloaded. More specifically, when making the behavioral bricks video, I was able to really explore the potential of these special bricks. And I think I've come up with something pretty cool. Let's make a top-down defense game. Now, what jump-started this idea was the control brick. When we use the control brick, the game's logic can be modified so that all connected bricks are considered the player to LEGO Micro Games Game Manager. This had me thinking, I want to make a shift and fly around. Now, spoiler alert, but in the prefabs video, I did create a ship out of a bunch of different bricks. And originally, I wanted to make a space-style shoot 'em up What I noticed was that the more complex the combination of bricks is, the bigger the impact on the LEGO Micro Games frame rate. So this just means that rather than using the same ship from that video, let's try to make something a little less complex and frame rate friendly. As I was looking through the assets available, I noticed that there was a shell. So what if we made a game that was water-based? What if we made our playable character a crab? Another insight that I had from the previous videos was that we actually don't need to add behavioral bricks themselves. All of the behavioral bricks are just scripts that can be attached to any bricks. So we'll just use the scripts instead to preserve the crab's original design. And having downloaded and imported the additional LEGO Microgame asset packs from the asset store, we now have access to different skyboxes. And to piggyback off of the original ocean theme, we have access to the underwater themed skybox. It's looking great already! Now, let's think about the game's design. As mentioned earlier, this game was going to be a top-down shoot 'em up and while it won't be a shoot 'em up it can still be top-down. We can just adjust the camera to the angle that we're looking for and place the crab in view. To limit the player from leaving the camera's view, we'll surround the border with some colliders. Now, the crab's movement is confined to within the player's sight. And to make this look even better, we can switch the camera to an orthographic view, which is a type of projection that gives off a 2D look. But wait, the crab is currently able to turn when we want them to actually just stay facing forward. Again, if we remember, we can just change the control type to strafe, and now the crab is stuck faced forward. It's time to give this game its challenge. As mentioned, this is a defense style game, and right now there's nothing to defend. So let's create some crab eggs for a crab to defend. And what we can do is attach the touch trigger script so that any bricks that touch these precious eggs will cause them to explode and will trigger the loose state of the game. But what makes them explode? Let's add some danger. Using the shoot brick, we can spawn projectiles to rain down from above. And we can even add a randomized and timer trigger so that the firing is inconsistent and more challenging. Finally, we need a way to win. So we'll add in the win brick and we'll say that the countdown is 2 minutes. If the player can protect the crab eggs for 2 whole minutes, then they win. And after just a touch of additional customization to the level, here's how the game turned out. Okay, now before we get to deploying this game, we also need to adjust the win, lose, and main menu scenes. Once again, we can change the background to be more fitting and adjust some of the text so that it makes more sense in context of the game. And we'll also want to make sure that each button sends us to the right scene. In my case, I made the game in the playground scene, so the play button should always point back to that scene. 
And now we have what we need to deploy our LEGO micro game. To build, publish, and share this game, and your games if you're making one yourself, we first need to make sure that we have the WebGL module installed on our version of Unity. We'll open up Unity Hub, go over to Installs, and find Add Modules in the dropdown. As shown, my version already has this installed. But if you don't, then you can just select the WebGL checkbox and press Done to start the installation process. Once installed, we can return back to the LEGO Micro game. Before we build and publish our game, we'll need to change a few of the build settings. We'll open up File and select Build Settings. Here, we will see the platforms that Unity can deploy to and the scenes included in the build. We'll need to add whatever scenes are in our games. In my case, the playground scene. And while we're at it, we can remove the LEGO Micro Game tutorial. Then we can press on WebGL and click Switch Platform. Now this takes a second, but once it's done, we can press Build and Run and wait and watch the build process as it takes quite some time. Eventually, our game will open and we can play test to make sure that everything works as expected. When we're done, we can return back to the Unity editor and find the Publish dropdown. Here, we'll select our build from the main menu and publish it to play.unity.com so that everyone can play our game. When the upload is complete, the website will open and we can customize our game's page, adding a thumbnail, filling out the title and description, and even recording a few seconds of gameplay as a preview. Then we can save and share our game. And just like that, we have a shareable game that we made using Unity's LEGO Micro Game. Now this is my game, but I'd love to see what you can come up with. How creative can you get while playing with some LEGOs and learning the basics of game development? And this wraps up the series on Unity's LEGO Micro Game, what I consider to be one of the best introductions to game development. If you've enjoyed this series and are ready to take on a new challenge, definitely consider my series of tutorials on Unity's animation system. I had always wanted to learn how character animations work in games, and I've been making a beginner-friendly series of tutorials with the more that I've learned. And if you're interested in joining an awesome growing community, we would love to have you in the iHeart Game Dev channel Discord. But that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the the next video.